Teachers of Reddit, what is the most disrespectful thing a student has done or said? One of my co-workers was 80 years old. He married his high school sweetheart, had two kids, adopted five more, lord knows how many grandkids, etc etc. They were in love. At lunch he would show us the lunch and love note he made that day. He always talked about her, the kids, and the grandkids. Every morning his wife dropped him and they would talk till the bell rings. He loved teaching and helping the students. He taught 9th grade health studies. A mandatory class so all the students knew him. One day he drove to school by himself and we just knew. We didn't ask. He just told us she passed away on Saturday. We told our students and one kid said a she was old anyways. Never wanted to hit a kid so much in my life. That was 3 years ago. He is still teaching. Not a teacher, but probably the most disrespectful thing I've ever witnessed in a classroom. One of my classmates was arguing with our teacher. They were going back and forth for a while. The teacher was visibly getting upset, turning red, etc. She ended up threatening to send the student to the principal which coincidentally is the kid's dad. He looks her in the eye and says, MRS, teacher, I literally don't care what you say or what you tell me to do. I just don't care and I will not do it. Teacher backed down and started crying at her desk. Pretty awkward class the rest of the year. Edit. Spelling. When I was in high school there was this kid who was the class clown. But in a bad way. He was the jokester of the class. But he was also a bully. Never did any work. And distracted everyone. He was also very bright. My science teacher tried so hard to get through to him. He'd tell him he believed in him. Knew he had it in him to do well. But it never worked. The kid just laughed in his face every time he tried to help. At the end of high school he'd flunked his exam so many times he wasn't even allowed to take it again unless he paid for it. My science teacher still believed in him. And said he knew he could pass it if he just tried one more time. And he even offered to pay. The kid accepted. Said he was disappointed in himself. He needed to pass to get into college and his mother would never afford it. He said he'd study this time and sit the test. Teacher paid. The kid didn't even show up for it and afterwards I saw him laughing about how stupid the teacher was for giving him another chance. There was a fist fight in the cafeteria. And after the principal broke it up. The kid he was restraining screamed I'm glad your itch wife died on 9 stroke 11. Principal turned red and walked out. Student was expelled. When I was a TA. I had the basketball team's starting center and point guard in my class in consecutive quarters. I failed them both. Which made me public enemy number one for a time. The point guard was a pleasant enough guy, but every paper he turned in was clearly plagiarized. The prompt would be something like compare and contrast two hobbies. And he'd turn in some pristine essay about capital punishment. Every single time, I would give him a zero and ask him to rewrite it. And he never did. The center. Meanwhile, who's disdain for me and the class? He technically failed by having too many absences. Department policy. And he did attend. He'd show up late. Slamming the door as though to announce himself. He'd read the newspaper while I lectured. And I don't mean it was subtly folded on his desk. He would hold the thing in front of him with two hands. Like a dad in a comic strip. Loudly turning pages. I told him to knock it off. He refused. I kicked him out of my class, and then I spent the next two weeks defending myself from nasty attacks from his parents and coaches. When I was student teaching, a senior thought it would be funny to go rip the wig off of a teacher who was going through chemo at the time. One time I had a teacher who had an eye patch one time. I had just gotten back from a bad wreck after 3 months off and had gained some weight. He offered me a piece of chocolate and I jokingly said no thanks. I'm trying to watch my figure and he said that's a lot to watch. I said too bad you can't see all of it. Edit. Rephrased. He always had an eye patch. Not just one time. Not a teacher but my brother is. And he's told me many stories. I'd say the girl that was struggling even to pass his English class. And by struggling I mean not trying. But somehow managing with a hard D. Anyway. She wasn't understanding a book they were reading. I think it was Hamlet at the time. So he lended her his personal copy, with his personal notes, and it was some special version with plain English text as well. She doodled on it, on every, 
single page of it. That was the most disrespectful thing he's told me about. Worse stuff has happened. But that's the most disrespectful. I was a senior and was placed in a freshman computer class for some reason. Those freshmen didn't even care what the teacher had to say or anything he was trying to teach. Literally the whole class every day would just talk to each other or play games on the computer. One day the teacher broke down and started crying saying no one respected the teacher and then quit. Few years later I heard the teacher had passed away. I was the only one in the class that paid attention to what was being said and showed. The teacher clearly just loved teaching and wanted to teach. But no one gave a duck. Not a teacher. But once a friend of mine got in a pretty heated argument about something stupid with a teacher in our world history class and eventually he just got up, walked over to the front of the classroom, and necked the teacher, slapped the back of their neck as hard as he possibly could, he got suspended. A typical architecture design classroom looks something like this. When I was a TA I politely asked the closest student to the blackboard to erase it. He replied would you like fries with that? I just told him you're going to say that many, many times. Put his feet up on the trash can as I walked in front of him, purposefully tripping me in front of the whole class and breaking my nose. Administration refused to punish him but I threw him out of my class and refused to allow him back since wouldn't apologize. Later that year, I was speaking to a very upset student in the hall during classes and he was walking the halls. He had some sort of tiny but heavy metal bearings that he threw at his dart hitting me and the girl in the head. He ran. Administration refused to chase him down or punish him. Again. Karma got him though. He made a derogatory comment one day about people with HIV. It was overheard by a student whose mother had HIV. He left school that day in an ambulance. In the 6th grade my teacher took a leave because she had a miscarriage. A classmate said she hated her and was glad she lost her baby. When I was a senior in high school, I was in this physics class filled with the future staff of McDonald's. This one day we had a substitute teacher who might as well have walked directly out of a playboy. She just wanted to teach us man. The future head fry cook of our class took such a liking to her and such offense when she turned him down and tried to discipline the class. That he told her he'd abuse her if given the chance and then paraded across the top of all of our desks screaming vulgarity until she cried. We tried to stop him. We really did but he was just such a piece of it. Not that it makes things right. But the rest of the class and I managed to get him expelled for with our testimonies from that day. Another time when I was in high school. I saw some kids push a pregnant teacher down a flight of stairs. I never found out what happened to her. But those kids got expelled too. Not a teacher, but last semester my lit teacher had some family issues and ended up not being there most of the time. We finally got a long term sub a couple of weeks before finals, and these boys in my class wouldn't listen to him. We were having a Socratic. The sub asked them to please be quiet. One of them said we don't have to listen to you, and another said something along the lines of you're not a real teacher, before they were sent outside. It really hurt the long term sub, who has a teaching degree and is a teacher for all intents and purposes. The long term sub didn't come back, and they sent the scariest teacher in the school, along with the principal, to talk to us about how disrespectful we were. Edit, litters in literature lol. The popular kids in my class gave my 8th grade teacher a bag of potatoes as graduation gift during the graduation ceremony. She was Irish. Context. My teacher was an older woman and we would always ask how old she was and she would never answer. At a certain point we just decided that she must have lived through the famine. As a first year high school teacher, I'm working on getting better with classroom management. One day, we were talking about illusions and what an Achilles heel was. I suggested for some it might be math class and one kid suggested it might be teaching for me. That kid pisses me off. Story from GF being a teacher, about 3 years ago, a kid, we shall call him Timmy, was on his first day of grade 1, about 5-6 years old, super excited to be there and back with his friends. Cue the dinner bell. As soon as it rang Timmy went to get dressed to go home, conditioned by a half day kindergarten system. GF. Hello Timmy whatcha doing? Timmy, in as happy and innocent voice a small child could muster. I'm getting ready to go home to see my mom. 
My dad and my doggy. GF. Oh goodness. I'm sorry Timmy. But, when we're big kids. Like you are now. We have to stay the whole day. Timmy. GF. Timmy. GF. Timmy. Who signed me up for this it. As he slams the locker door and stomps away. She somehow maintained her composure until she reached the teacher's break room. Told the story. And laughed so hard with the other teachers she broke a blood vessel in her eye. Edit. Apparently everything. P. Apologies for being a noob and not realizing how to write on here. And finally. Yes I meant the noon midday bell. Call it what you want. Oh wait I have another. In 8th grade I went to a hybrid homeschool. There was this guy in my grade who was super disrespectful to the teachers. In math one day he wouldn't do his work. The teacher was frustrated. And told him he couldn't go to literature until he did the math problems. At this point. The rest of us were already waiting to go in the literature room and the 6th graders were walking into the math room. The guy says he has to pee. The teacher tells him to try the last math problem and then he can go. I guess he really had to pee. Or was just really mad at the teacher. Because he stood up. Dropped his pants. And peed right there. On the floor of the math room. When I was in like 10th grade I thought it was funny if I hid in a closet that was in a classroom at the beginning of the lesson. So I went in there and when the teacher came into the room. Started his lesson and asked where I was. I realized that no one had seen me go into the closet and that I told no one about my funny plan. So I sat there for like half an hour thinking about if I should go out or just stay in the closet for the entire lesson. Somehow I then got the idea that it would be cool to peek out with my head and just go to my table when the teacher was not looking. Unfortunately just then he was looking right at the closet and saw me peek out. I can only imagine what his thoughts were but needless to say he didn't think it was very funny and brought me to the principal immediately after that. Not a teacher, however. I took Russian for 4 years in high school. The teacher was a bit of a nut, but she was very sweet and an easy grader. Unfortunately, these three assholes, let's call them famine, pestilence and conquest, also caught on to the fact that she was an easy grader and decided to just make those 4 years difficult. They would derail every conversation, they would never participate in class, constant yelling, playing with phones and just being dumbness all year. At the end of freshman year, they were constantly asking dumb questions, like what does, something we learned months ago, mean, over and over again. Finally, this one super quiet kid turns and screams it means shut the duck up, dead, silence. After about a solid 15 seconds the teacher just went back to teaching. It was amazing. My first semester teaching. I had a world history class of sophomores. We were having a discussion about the enlightenment thinkers. This kid just got back from a few days in ice. Detention. He says. For 20 bucks I'll give you something that will enlighten you. He had said worse in the past and just got back from ice so rather than writing him up. I said. Come on you're already on thin ice. Then I held up my fingers showing how thin the ice was. About a centimeter. He responds. Out loud to the entire class. Is that how big your D is? I stood there a little shocked for about 3 seconds before I just pointed to the hallway for him to leave. Needless to say. He got written up for that. The administrator's face when he read that on the referral was priceless. IDK. A kid pressed me up against a wall and tried to strangle me one time. 